Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to learn about tronscan.org and how to create a wallet. Simply go to tronscan.org, let the page load up. We're going to follow to the top right of the screen here. You have TronLink. TronLink, if you click that, that would install the TronLink Chrome extension. If you click the link at the bottom of this, this little pop-up screen here. Now, once you have that installed, create a password, you just click Tron link to log in. However, this is a video for creating a wallet on TronScan. So we're gonna click import a wallet. This is private key. This is the key you get when we create a wallet on the next page. Now, do not share that key with anybody or they will be able to unlock this wallet. This is where you sign in with that key key store file on the next page we'll be creating a key store file that you that unlocks your wallet and the password that we create unlocks this file but first let's click the blue button here that says create wallet now we are on the wallet creation page for Tron scan now we click new wallet and we're gonna input a password here we're gonna say Tron cool now do not forget this password because it unlocks the key store file This is your key store file. Click this right here and that downloads the encrypted file key. Now the password you just created unlocks that file. Do not lose it and so you know. This is a good way to keep a backup for it. You can store that file on one of these USB devices right here. Simple as that. But if you forget that password, you cannot unlock the wallet. Sorry. Now save your private key. This is the private key here. This is what I just said unlocks this, unlocks the wallet on the sign in page at the top there. Do not share that with anyone. Now you can click print paper wallet and this allows you to print a paper version of your wallet with the barcodes with including the important information you need to send and receive payments. This address right here on the left, this barcode, this is your public key. This is okay to share with people. It shares this information when they scan it with their phone. And most phones come with a barcode scanner already on them. However, you can find one in the mobile device app store, whatever mobile device you use. Now over here is the private key. This key, when scanned with a barcode reader, unlocks this piece of information, which is your private key. So you do not want to share this private key with anyone Otherwise, they can unlock your wallet. However, it is okay to share this address right here with anyone. You could print it onto files. You could print it onto your business card or whatever you use to accept payments. Um, for instance, on my channel right here, if you look, you could donate right there. To give you a brief example, if you find this video helpful and, you know, to give you an idea of how you can use this barcode. All right following on so when we click next it's gonna say hey your new wallet is ready go to account page so we're gonna go to account page and I'm not gonna get too in-depth on this but bandwidth is what allows you to send and receive tracks on the network um, you can get it by just storing tracks in your wallet and you get allocated like 5,000 um, I, I forget the exact how, how it exactly works but if you click the question mark button here it gives you a brief explanation of what's going on same with all these also your available balance is right here and you know I'm balling I have zero, zero TRX in this account and you can set a name for it this is your address if you would like to get that public address QR code to print on one of your files or pieces of paper and you can get it right there again now transactions this tells you how many transactions you made with this account and then tokens tokens TRC tokens you can see all your TRC tokens right here and you can get them up here TRC20 tokens, these are smart contract tokens, they can they show up in this tab. Now you can also set trading pairs right here, but I'm not going to get into that. This is just a brief explanation video on how to create a wallet for John Scan. Just same as that. I'll, I'll make another video for Tron.
power and freezing, but I'll give you the example tronscan.org has here. But just so you know, this right here, this is your transaction history. So Tron power, this is what this is how you freeze Tron and then vote and get incentive incentives for freezing and voting for super representatives. But let's go off let's go with what tronscan.org says here. TRX can be frozen to gain Tron power and enable additional features. For example, with Tron power, you can vote for super representatives. You can gain bandwidth or energy as well. Frozen tokens are locked for a period of three days. You cannot trade these tokens until the three days are up, but you get all your tokens back. After this period, you can unfreeze the TRX and trade the tokens. Either one of bandwidth or energy can be acquired by each freeze. You cannot acquire both resources at the same time. When a user unfreezes a certain resources, his previous votes will be completely voided. If a user would like to vote using the remaining Tron power, he will have to perform his voting operations all over again. So if you click the blue button here, it allows you to freeze the Tron and go vote for super representatives. So let's say 50 quintillion. Oh, something went wrong because I don't have 50 quintillion coins to vote for or I'd be receiving some really cool incentives. <laughs> Anyways, super representatives. You can become a super representative yourself, but please, you got to be a reputable project or you're just not going to go nowhere and you're going to be wasting Tron. But just so you know, Tron is a dem democratic system. Anybody can become a super representative. Anyone can run a node. It all depends on your project and how your project is processed. So don't jump the gun and think you're going to get into something quick. All right. Make sure you plan it out, have a white paper and follow the directions they have here to apply to be a super representative. Now, after you freeze, you can follow up here to Tron SR and click representatives. This is where you can get an idea of the team members, you know, you can vote for the projects going on and the incentives you receive by looking at their team pages. So Sesame C, right? But like I said, this is just a simple video about creating a Tron wallet. And I just wanted people to know where they go and what they can see to see what voting's for and get a better idea for it. But I'll be making a better video for that. And for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped, you know, you could shoot some donations here or just like hit the little bell button or subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a comment, tell me how I did, what I could do better. And if there's some a, a decentralized app you would like me to dig into and give you a better idea about and see what I can come up with. Well, thank you for watching and have a great day.